maybe I was born with it. Maybe it's a crap ton of products. Today on The Brave Show, we're talking beauty products. Hey, brave girl, how you do the things that you do? Don't mind. Hi, everyone. Welcome to The Brave Talk Show, the show for brave women craving the connection that comes with real conversations about the concerns and TMI details we face every day. I'm Brittany. I'm Robin. I'm Teresa. And I'm Vanessa. So make sure and subscribe to join our weekly conversations. Today we are talking about all of our favorite beauty products, you guys. This is going to be a good episode. I can't wait to see what's on this table. You guys brought yours, right? I yes. brought Yes, I'm Let's so go. excited. Let's go. <laughs> Great. Well, I'm going to go first, and I'm going to tell you three of my favorite things. So up first is a hair tie, and I know that sounds really simple, but these are the only hair tie I have in my home. I bought them for myself, and then my kids all stole them, so now I, my kids have them as well. Um, they're called Namaste Hair Ties. It's a different material. Um, I don't even know what it is, but they don't crease my hair, and they don't damage my hair. Um, they're comfortable, and then watch this. Oh, okay. I love it. No There's no stuck. breakage on this. That's like, awesome. So good. So good. So I actually brought one for each of you. Yay. You're welcome. Thank you. Actually, Brittany introduced <clears throat> me like a couple months ago, and I'm sold too. Yeah, they're amazing. And the best part is it's a female-run company here in Utah. Oh, awesome. She developed them. Um, her name is Hannah. She reached out to me, sent them to me. I think over a year ago now, and I have been completely sold. They're like I said, the only product that I use for my hair. That's, That's awesome. awesome. You, it seems Love like it. there's a lot of like women-based Utah companies. Yes. I, I didn't know that until I just moved here, and now I'm like, they seem like they're everywhere. This yeah. is like the place it's for got that Utah spirit woman pride. of woman. Utah warrior, <laughs> is what it is? Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, speaking of which, all of the products that I brought today are products that were from Utah women companies. So, oh, wow. okay. just a little local shout out. Okay, so next Amazing. thing I brought, this stuff, you guys, I'm telling you, I brought the three things that I can't live without. That's really what I did. Um, this is called Tribal Sugar, and they have body scrubs, body polishes. Um, they have lotion and chapstick. They have all sorts of stuff. But their body polish is my favorite. I'm going to pass it around so you guys mm. can smell it. So what it is, it's um, prickly pear cactus oil. Yes is what makes all the difference on this. They have lots of different scents. Yeah, um, my favorite is this I one. Try. Yeah, try it. So it warms up. Um, it's cold right body now, heat. so it's a little harder. But it's just a sugar Ooh. scrub that you use on your body. And you guys, after you use it, you don't need lotion. Ooh, I love like, that. Like, it's so amazing. Oh, wow. um, they, they are Utah Women's Company. I already said that right. And let's see, what else do I want to say about this? Do you have a discount this? code? I totally do. So if you use the code Brittany, uh, you'll get 20% off of this. Oh, so yeah. these are, I give these gifts as gifts all the time. Mother's Day is great. Um, any type of reason I need to give somebody a gift, I give them this. And every single time people have texted me after saying they are sold and they love this. So try Tribal Sugar. Um, oh, I remember what I was going to say. Another mm -hmm. thing is all of their products have messages. So like this oh, one is cool. resilient. Life is tough, but so are you. Yeah. So okay. everything comes with a message. They're trying to build a community, or they have built a community. Um, they're just, I can't recommend these guys enough. So, that's so I got to ask you, are you a sugar scrub by the sink on your hands type of girl, or a sugar scrub in the shower all over kind of girl? Oh, sugar scrub in the shower. Oh, <laughs> head to toe, make it glow. She comes out. She comes. She comes out glowing. Yeah, she does. That's and why I've been. Like yes. it. Uh -huh. it smells so good. And then really, like the water just like beads off your skin because it just. You don't need lotion. No wonder wow. your husband can't that's what I was gonna his say. hands off out of the shower. I know, that's why Benny's yeah. like, okay, okay. okay yeah, that's right. It's well, all because of this, ladies. Use <laughs> this and your husbands will be touching you. You heard it here. Well, I think it's good because I'm telling you, Utah is dry. Oh, I yes. am learning that, that's for sure. Yep. Awesome. Okay, my last product is a tan. I look better tan, and I am not naturally tan. In the summer, I can get there, but in the winter, oh boy. <laughs> I actually, this is a funny story. So I had at the gym that I went to, I don't wear makeup or anything to the gym. I show up looking pretty homeless like I rolled out of bed, <laughs> which is what happens, right? Just like normal. So That's okay. anyway, yeah. I, the day before I went one time, I, I used this tanning product. And the next day at the gym, all these girls were complimenting. They're like, Brittany, that is your color. Like, you look really good today. I'm like, what is different? Like, and then I'm like, I have a tan. <laughs> <laughs> I look beautiful because I have a tan. I'm like, never be without a tan. Yes. <laughs> okay, so this, another Utah company. This is called Curb Appeal. 
Um, there, it's a whole tanning system. Wow. So it's pretty great. Um, I have a code for you on this as well. Um, it's also Brittany, saves you 15%. But so you start with the exfoliator. I, I did it last night on my face and on my neck um, because I was lazy and knew that my arms and my legs would be covered. Really. <laughs> um, okay, so you start with the exfoliator and then you have this, oh, it's this one, um, activator. And so you mix these two together and then scrub, scrub, scrub all over. And then after you get out of the shower and dry off, then you use this tanning stick which they're getting a patent for it right now. And you have, they give you a latex glove. And so it's really simple. You just apply it like this and then you've got your glove and then you just yeah. wipe it in. Wow. How do you feel it works around like the like wrist bones and so that's, elbows? That's what's so great about this is that it blends in really well. Like I never have just a line. Okay. Like I, I just mix it in here, but because I've gone all over everywhere else, by the time I get to my elbows and to my creases, I have less on the glove, and so then it just blends. It blends right. really well. Okay. Right. This one doesn't have an odor. That's this what I was one, ask. yeah, it doesn't streak. Like this it's is the, only the thing most. I like the smell. I've tried so many tanning creams, you guys, and this is the most true color that I've found. Like I, I haven't found a better uh -huh. like brown color for me that's more natural, doesn't smell, doesn't streak. Um, this one all the way. So Can does it have different shades? I'm sorry. Oh, does know. it have different shades for different like? shades of people like Not so is it like a one color i think it's a one color of... like vanessa sorry yeah i'm not planning on tanning anytime soon <laughs> <laughs> you Brittany, got the brown skin that, that i got yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. do you have a code to hook up sisters yeah so Brittany again okay. so i just made it easy there's two codes Brittany, and that one saves you 15 percent on oh, wow. get some tanning awesome. all right all is right. it my turn it's your turn, turn. Ah, okay. my stuff. okay ladies this, you guys, two words, power bait. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. What? Power bait. Lady. Power bait. I got you. I got you. Power oh bait. Gosh. I got you. <laughs> when <laughs> your lady parts smell like fish bait. Oh my gosh. Don't act like that ever happened. This is. Where's the disclaimer in this? There's no disclaimer. This is everyone, every woman needs this. Okay, this is called Summer's Eve. It's vaginal wash. It is specifically for women lady parts. And not only does it make you smell fresh and awesome, but it pH balances you. Um, I, like a lot of women who use this say they don't get yeast infections or itchy or any type of thing. Um, this is, they come in all different kinds of flavors and yummy scents. I keep this in my shower, so it's like a body wash in the shower. And I even have my daughters use it, like little girls, just oh, wow. to keep themselves oh, clean. So this is just a body wash. It's not a spritz. It's no, not, it's, it's like a body a... wash. You foam it up and wash your lady bits. Okay. And you can wash your whole body with it. You too? can wash or your whole just, lady, but, but like the, yeah. the, the outside of your lady bits, right? Uh -uh. Oh, you know what? Okay, I'm going it out. <laughs> Don't put it in your lady bits. <laughs> I do. Well, it's funny because. Summers are read this for external use external only. use only. Okay, well <laughs> disclaimer. <laughs> it's never hurt me. So <laughs> but it's funny because Summer's Eve, like I remember you were born in 89, so you may not remember this, but in the 80s, Don't I recall I know, right? watching commercials awesome. of like a mom and her daughter walking on the sand in, in the you know at the beach. And the the daughter looks at the mom and says, Mom, do you ever get that not so fresh? feel or something Power like that bait. and then the mom's like oh yes dear and then but and then it's summer's eve but it was like a douche like it wasn't that oh. so i think we've come a long we've way we've come a long way um and so that's awesome to know because if i had no idea that they made external body wash. yeah washes yeah and i feel like especially for sexually active people like you need it yeah like when i was a young married girl i literally always like what smells like fish bait like <laughs> because I, I was never educated on how <laughs> Anyway, am I alone here? I no, never no, use just, that term. I, I but, have, but have you smelt <laughs> yes. a little yes, odory? Yes, like yes, when you course. wake up in the morning from doing it the night before and you're right. like, what is this? And, and that's go, the thing. I think it's great for like to clean it out there because yes. sometimes people like hair. Some doesn't like hair. Yeah. But I know doctor recommend like in there, it's self-cleaning. But Robin, but that's what it says. Robin it says got these on little. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, Summer's Eve. <laughs> Making power, babe. <laughs> no power. <laughs> <laughs> it, it just, you guys, you need this. I love it. Okay. Okay. So I'm excited to try it. Go buy yes. some. Okay, <laughs> the next product I have um, is this incredible brightening syrup, serum, syrup, <laughs> syrup. <laughs> all, over, all over, but um, 
I got it from Costco, and I feel like you can trust anything that comes from Costco. Yeah. My father-in-law worked for Costco for 30 years, and his job was to get products into Costco. And they have to go through a very rigorous screening. Really? They have yeah. to sell over a million dollars before they can even be looked at. Oh, wow. So anything that goes into Costco, I trust. Yeah. And this is just one of those Costco things. I picked it up, and I didn't know how much I would love it. It's really cleared out my face. It's lightened some of my acne scars. I just apply it at night with a clean face, and I actually do it in the morning as well. Um, it's amazing. So it's called Strevectin Super C Retinol Brighten and Correct Vitamin C Serum. Love so it's it. got retinol Ooh. and vitamin C in it? That's, yeah. That's a big, that's a nice combination. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it's just... It's amazing. You just drop it all over so your... So do you put it on at night before bed or morning under makeup? Like what's I the routine? I always do at night before bed and then sometimes every now and again when I wake up right after. But okay. I have actually never seen so much progress in my face until I started using this. Hmm. That's so I great. really, really like that. Good to know. And then my last one. Um, I am obsessed with spas. Mm. So I love to go to spas. I love sitting in steam rooms. Mm. I love smells, eucalyptus, sandalwood. Yeah. So in my house, I try to replicate a spa as much as possible. Mm. So these are called Euro Spa Menthol Crystals. And you don't have to have a certain special shower. But what you do, if you guys can see, they're just little, little crystals like this. Smell that. Oh, Ooh, smell that. So what I, you I do, took a, you take a little whiff. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm like, oh, yeah, I take a Ooh, little. That's nice. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm hooked. So they have a whole bunch of different flavor, flavors. A whole bunch of different flavors. It clears you up too. It clears your nose, that so nostril. So this is menthol. So when my kids start getting sick, what you do is just go and turn on your hot shower. I'll back. just put a little. You don't. You actually just drop a little bit, like on. Um, like on the bath or on the floor, or like I'll even put it up on my shelf where like my bar of soap is. Interesting. And it just makes it smell amazing. Yeah. Menthol, when my kids are sick, I'll put them in a menthol shower and they come out with just boogers dripping out. I'm like, clear it out, clear it out. We don't ever go to the doctor, honestly. <laughs> it's good for you. We love this and they have all sorts of different smells. You will feel like you're at the Grand America. Where do you yeah. get it? Um, I got these on Amazon. We'll put a link. Please. We'll put a link. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get yeah. it. You know what I liked about the it. smell is smell some menthols smell like sick. Like yeah. when I smell it, it's just like, that smells like a cold. You know yeah. what I mean? But that one, was really refreshing it and small like so it's not it's Brittany's it, getting a, a, yeah. a vibe over there but it'll wake you up in the morning or even to wind you down at night or even to be like you know what mom life is crazy I'm gonna go hit my spa yeah. in your shower turn on a hot shower drop a few crystals is it again you don't put it in the water like not in a bath like just drop it like on the tile floor yeah. next to your shower mm -hmm. um so it's not meant to get wet no just steam yeah yep it's if it so gets it, wet it works with like moist air mm -hmm. yeah, got exactly. it yeah cool. it's amazing huh I like yeah. it. Yeah, so they're not too expensive. No, like it's better I can't than remember, going to a spa. Maybe like twenty bucks. Nothing crazy. Yeah, I like yeah. it. Anyways, those are mine. That's good. Yay. All right, so I nice. my Teresa, turn. Teresa, okay, you up. I have such a hard time picking One. like favorites. I, I must have changed my mind like five times. And as a matter of fact, I kind of broke the rules and I brought four. Girl, <laughs> let's do it. I'm sorry. You got this. I'm so, I just couldn't like I couldn't get past it. Okay, so the first one, I'm kind of like a half crunchy person. Crunch, half crunchy because I like like things that don't have a lot of bad ingredients, but I'll still put on some magnetic lashes. <laughs> so, you know, you, know, you gotta have a balance in life. Yeah. So it's not too Natural, much. but here are my lashes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is actually a homemade body oil. Um, my, my friend made it for me, but she got everything on Amazon and I was so excited because I came out here to Utah and I'm from San Diego where I never had to wear a lotion. It was always like 60% humidity and above over there. And I come out here and I'm like ashy and my daughter is coming in like, what's wrong with my hands? Her hands are just like so dry. Oh, so wow. I was complaining about it and my friend Carmen, um, who's also a half crunchy mama, she might even be more three quarters. Um, <laughs> she, she said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you some stuff. So she sent me a bottle of almond oil and a bottle of castor oil. Okay. And she said, mix the two. And then she sent me a bunch of containers of these little pumps. And she said, put both of them in, mix it up, so it's just two it oils? Your, just two oils. Do you flavor it with any scent? You could. Scent? I didn't. Um, but you could add some like essential oils to make it. Um, just use it on my hands like Yeah, put it on your like hands. Like a coconut. Put or, it on your arms. Yeah. And or something. Like, it's so pure. There's no other ingredients. If you like scent, I would probably add like essential oil just so that you can, you know, keep it, keep it, you know, fragrance free as far as the chemicals go. Yeah. Um, but I love it. I even will sometimes put it on my lips if I need a little extra moisture on my lips. Um, 
If my feet are being really dry, I'll put my on my feet at nighttime and then I'll put my socks on really and go to nice. sleep. And then the next morning my feet are just, and what's really nice about this is a lot of like oils and lotions I find sit on your skin and yeah. like they just, they just stay stay there and they don't soak in. This is gonna feel greasy for a couple of, of minutes, okay. but your skin is gonna soak it all up. I love and it. Then and then I need it. Mine anymore. soak up things, yeah. so I yeah. need something. I bleed gonna... in the winter because my hands, I wash my hands so much and then yeah. it's so dry. So this is great. Yeah. yeah, so I love it. I'm super excited by it. As you can tell, I'm already like halfway through it. Love um, that. It doesn't take much too, a little goes a long way. Okay, so as I said, crunchy with a little bit of glam here. <laughs> um, my new favorite thing is Ooh. these Glammedic lashes. I'm wearing some right now. Ooh, I haven't see. tried these ones yet. These Beautiful. ones are called, um, okay, wait, this one was, I think this one is Vixen and this one was like Lush or something okay. like that. Nice. They have different names. Um, some are more dramatic than others. I don't want to, like, I, I wanted to have some bold lashes because I'm just finding that my lashes as I'm getting older are not as thick or as dark as they used to. Um, plus, it is kind of just trendy to have big, bold lashes. Yeah. And I don't want to spend 50 bucks a month or whatever <laughs> to get too. those little, like, <laughs> lash tie things that are done. So this was kind of like my way of, like, happy medium, yeah. like, not yeah. spending as much money. Is it easy money. to apply? So easy. I, I was never a, a fake lashes person. My mom was. I've got friends who do it. And they're over there with this, like, sticky glue. And I've tried <laughs> it. And I'm like... Okay, then you gotta wait for it to like get tacky, and then I'm like trying to do this, yeah. and it's I'm a hot mess. I look stupid. It's falling off. It's hanging. <laughs> this is so easy. You just put this this liquid eyeliner. Did I bring that with it? I don't think I did. But you put just the liquid eyeliner on, just close to the lash, and then I mean I just pull this off, and I just kind of go a little bit just to make sure, and then I just plop, and that's it. That's cool. I that plop it, cool. and then they have these. Um, you can buy these little. Um, they're called anchors, where they're these little just extra lashes in case you have a spot that's kind of like, oh. maybe just lifting or just is not quite, mm -hmm. like the shape's not quite exactly right. You and then you just it. put it underneath and then it, it like snaps it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you need it, sometimes you don't. Okay. That's but cool. Yeah, and I have I have two anchors on right now because my um, my insides, because I don't put, I don't like, I don't like thick eyeliner on the inside of my eye. Mm -hmm. I like it thin and then to kind of thicken out. So when it's thinner, the magnet kind of like, it just doesn't quite maybe stick as well. So then that anchor will just, boom, it fixes it, it solves the problem. So anyway, I got this um, through my Facebook ads. <laughs> Facebook really knows me. They get you all the time. <laughs> I love my Facebook ads. I don't want them to leave. They just know me so well. That's why um, she keeps so, buying so they can keep popping. So I don't, yeah. have, I don't have a coupon code for you, but I will gladly put a link down below so you can still look at it and um, see if any of those lashes work for you. Um, okay, my last two, I'll put these two up. I am a, I have curly hair, as one can see, and um, it's actually curlier even underneath. And I have fought it my whole life. Like I was always that girl who like had curly hair and wished she had straight hair, like all the other girls. But I, I've gotten older and I've gotten a little wiser, and um, I've come to really appreciate my curls. And I even like them. You look hot. <laughs> Thank you. But I've had to really work to make them look good because I fought them so long with um, hair like blow drying my hair, straightening my hair, coloring my hair, all of those things. And when you have curly hair, um, it curly hair just gets damaged more easily. That's just the way it is. I don't know why, but it just it's more porous or something like that. So about two years ago, I decided um, that I was going to embrace my curls, and I needed to I needed to save them. Like they they just didn't even look good anymore. They they were just all ragged. I could show I maybe even can show some pictures and that we can put up on the screen here of like what my hair looked like <laughs> um, before and then where as where you can see where it is now. So what I did is I started what's called the curly girl method. Yep. Um, so some people might know what that is, but basically it's a, it's contrary to everything that we've been taught. I don't wash my hair with shampoo. Mm -hmm. I If I do, it's like once a month. And um, I know, my straight hair <laughs> friends, straight girl. Oh, my straight hair friends. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the heck? Tell us more about this. I tell, don't wash my hair with shampoo. The there's secret. a lot tell of rules. The there's a lot of rules to make it work because otherwise you get build up, but there's some things you don't want in your hair products. Um, one of the things that you don't want in your hair products are alcohol because that dries it out and you don't want silicones because silicones will build up and then you need shampoo and then you're in this vicious cycle. But mm -hmm. shampoo really dries out curly hair. So I had to transform my whole routine. I had to go through a really ugly, like the first month is if you plan on doing this, just you will have a month of ugly hair. I'm sorry. Don't have a wedding to go to. Don't have a fancy date. Like just plan on a month of ugly hair. 
But once you get through that, that month of transition, everything changes. And then part of my new routine is using, um, obviously you still use products for your curly hair to make the curls, but you have to be very picky about the pro what's the ingredients because you cannot have silicone in them. And I can't tell you how many curly hair products have silicone in them because they add shine, but it, it, then it, it, it just, dirt sticks to it, it dries out, you can't get it out, it builds up, you need shampoo. So my curling cream that I use for my hair is Cantu. Na it's for natural hair. I buy it in the black girls section. I love it. Uh, coconut curling cream. And the reason why I like it is because it has no sulfates, silicones, parabens, or phalates, phalates. I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> um, so what that means is I don't have to wash my hair with shampoo to get this out. I can get in the shower, I can wash my hair with water, and I can put some conditioner in it, and the product is out. What? Wow. Yes. And it smells amazing. Yeah, now, here's amazing. the disclaimer. I have had friends come up to me and be like, oh, I tried using that, and then I straightened my hair, and now my hair won't oh, go back to curly. Like you don't mm -hmm. straighten your hair with that. I'm like, yeah, don't. It's for curly girls. Like, if, if you want to straighten your hair and you've got curly hair, then don't use this product. This is for people who, I don't, I don't straighten my hair anymore. I don't use blow dryers. I don't do anything to damage it anymore. I only do things that'll make my curls look good. And so don't put this on your hair and then go flat iron it because your curls will be gone. Okay. It's only if you have curly hair and you want to make sure yeah. that it stands out. But I love it. It smells really good. I'm it not sure if you've tried yeah, it before. Yeah, I smell it. Tropical yeah. Beach. Mm. Yes. Everyone who ever hugs me are like, what are you wearing? I need this now. So, so I have a daughter with curly hair. And so we've been trying to figure it out because when she was first born, she had like this fro and we're like, whoa, do, do white people make that? Like, does she get a fro? But I've had a really hard time figuring it out. No figuring shampoo. Out her. Once a month at most. Um, and But what you, what you have to do is you first, to get all the, I don't know if you put product in her hair, but if you do, you, you, you have to have the last wash. So your last wash needs to be with a sulfate shampoo because it'll get out all the buildup that's in her hair from silicones and things that you put in there. And that's it. You throw that bottle away. You don't do it again. You wash your hair with water and maybe once a week you can condition it. See how her hair does? Even once a week can sometimes be too much for some people, for some curly girls. So you just kind of have to test and see. Um, but yeah. So water by, and then some does conditioner. This go on and then you rinse it out, or this goes. This is like a. This leave -in is a product. It's gonna, okay. um, so my routine yeah. is: I get out of the shower, I wash my hair with water. Sometimes I'll condition, and then um, when I get out, dry my hair. I put leave-in conditioner in my hair, and then I add that to my hair, and then I just scrunch, or I'll do a hair plop. And I can talk about that on no. a other episode. I'll do <laughs> like a hair good. plop, and then yeah, and then it just dries, and my my curls are defined. Yeah, and the only thing I would say with different with texture. Her hair's texture probably going to be different than your daughter and mm -hmm. oiling, like your daughter's hair probably produced a lot of more oil than hers going to be. So you probably want to start out with like the once a week wash and then like slowly like get her off because her hair has been so used to being washed all the time. If you just cut it off, it's just going to still build, yeah. build up. So start with the once a week and then slowly start like, yeah, okay. I would agree. Yeah. And I would yeah, also definitely. say, depending on how thin her hair is, she may not even need product at all. She's got just not hair. having, just not shampooing it and conditioning it alone after that month of ugly hair, because she will have a month of ugly hair. Um, <laughs> seven, but seven. after that, that might be all her hair needs, and you're going to just see these pretty little coils start to show up that are well defined and not frizzy, oh, and you I may not even need that. anything else. Okay. So yeah. I'm so excited about that, to have that as part of my story and to help other curly girls. My last one um, is I'm 41. Whoa! Don't look at, don't yes, look at, don't look at. Don't look I, might be, I might be wiser than I was when I was 21, but I certainly don't look at as much, but you're very sweet. Part of it is because I'm using this product. Um, actually, I have another one that I prefer, but I, didn't, I ran out. So this is like my backup. Okay, so this is called Hyaluronic Acid. And you can go to like, you know, fancy spas and so forth and you can get some really expensive high dose ones. Um, and those work even better. This is just L'Oreal, right? 1.5%, but I really like it and I feel like I notice a difference. Um, and so basically when your skin is young and supple, we naturally have hyaluronic acid in our skin and it, it binds like any moisture and it keeps that skin nice and puffy. And as we get older, we start to lose it. Um, and so basically I'm just adding it back into my skin. I do find if I drink more water, it'll work better because any moisture mm -hmm. in my body, like it'll attach to. 
Um, but this is topical, and anything that's topical, you're adding chemicals to your skin and so forth to make it absorb into your skin. So really, the best way to take hyaluronic acid is to drink it. Um, this you would not want to drink. Okay. <laughs> How do you drink it? So there is, um, I have a, a drink that I don't have, and I wish I had it because I would show it to you guys, but it's, um, it's a liquid collagen with hyaluronic acid in it. Okay. And you drink it twice a day, and it replenishes your whole body with the collagen and the hyaluronic acid that your body needs. So need not that. only does your skin look better, your hair looks better, your organs feel better, like Everything that, that needs protein <laughs> and collagen you, like, strength. Chug it? Does it like no, grow up? You, no. like wake up 25? Yeah. No. But I would say it takes about 30 days of being consistent for you to see the difference. But I have some befores and afters that I can show you that like you should see the skin difference when I was drinking before I started drinking it to after. Like even the that my skin tone looked better. It was amazing. So it is a little I bit pricier that. though. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm a disclaimer. When you're drinking it and you're drinking it twice a day, I mean it was like I don't know. I think. That one um, is a Modere product. That was the one that I was using. I think it was like 150 bucks for a month supply. Okay. Sorry. The so price in we the pay. meantime, right now I don't have it, and this is like 40 bucks. Okay. And so it's you know it's not as good, but it works still well. And so that's my what I'm using right now. And I think that's it. Ooh, I think that I took was a while great. to talk no, and explain. Great. But I loved it. <laughs> All right. That's okay. Vanessa, mine is, mine is short and sweet. So. For me, I was born and raised in Haiti, so I come from the island where it's like, you don't need lotion. I don't think we even own lotion. So coming to Utah was very like hard for me because I end up getting like eczema, like mm -hmm. my skin just dried out. Like I just, but my thing is, my for my skin is the less the better. So I'm probably not gonna be the girl that like, I'll try things, but anytime like my face don't break out because I'm like, if I do anything extra on it, it breaks out. Mm -hmm. So it's just basic water and my go-to cleanser is this like it is amazing like i had been getting bumps in my face and i just wash my face every night do my little just this and a little cleanser and some lotion and then and your skin that's it amazing. that's it it just cleared that's all when it comes What's to washing it's a sorave hydrating facial cleanser okay. you can get them at i usually get them on amazon because they give you like two big of these for like way cheaper walmart you get like one of these is like 15 dollars so i get two big of this lasting forever my face, water, wash it. My kids, it everybody good? use it. Can it I there's try no a sense bit on my to skin? it. Yeah, there's oh, no <gasps> sense to it. Look, hyaluronic acid. It's what? amazing. It's in there. Yeah. Oh my god. Vanessa's gosh. already doing it. And ah. she's 31, so by the time she's 40, or, no, you're not 31, you're like 33. 33, yeah. By the time she's 43, she's gonna, she's gonna be, gonna be like, the game. <laughs> I don't get, but it's, it wow. doesn't have any smell. Can I they try keep a it, yeah. They keep it simple. They, it's is it not working for me. Is it locked? She was smart. She, she, I mean, with it, it, so but like it there's no smell the to it there's not a lot of product on it is water it's just very like basic as it is like literally i use it my kids use it my, even my husband like oh my gosh i don't wake out like it's you know it's simple yeah. and anything sorave is really amazing because it's not and then i'm a vitamin taker like in haiti we don't it's natural vitamins so if we're sick it's like natural stuff like we don't like I don't really have a medicine cabinet that is full with like medication mm -hmm. because okay. I just feel like your body just get used to it. So I am big, like I only bought three, but like I have a cabinet full of just vitamins. So like vitamin C is a must, vitamin E, your skin and then vitamin A, just kind of balance me out. Like I think when you talk about gut health, mm -hmm. every morning I take like at least like 12 different really? vitamins. Mm -hmm. Wow, just I few love vitamins. that. And then that's it, it helps with my skin. It helps with my like my gut, like my body, like you can tell like a difference. And I've been doing that for like a year. And when my friends come, they're like, I'm like, take this. And they're like, what? I'm like, just take it. like so many vitamins, but like I'm a vitamin girl. Like that's like I my go-to. Like well, I don't. your skin shows it. I'm telling oh, you, your you, skin is just your yeah. skin is yeah. Yeah. So and I need to get on the like vitamin stuff that's too. in the things <laughs> we have. Like, you know, we put vitamin E in yeah. lotion, there's vitamin C in our facial stuff, there's yeah. vitamin A. Yeah. So you can take it that. internally. Yeah. yeah. It's better. And I even take like a turmeric pill. And the next thing is turmeric. I know it sounds like this should be in your kitchen, but this is in my bathroom. What? what? Let me let me bring you guys into a little secret. So turmeric mask get rid of you know you're talking about the black spots and you're using that great product which is amazing take this couple scoop water do that if you are a person that have a lot of acne do it for seven days straight you'll get a little orange but i guarantee you like it's literally like you'll see a little but like seven days straight if you have like a lot of scar from acne this will literally clear just it. like make a really? paste yeah make a paste clears this your dark dark spots 
is in your kitchen. Your, your, okay. Wait, so I need what to understand. About, what about aging spots? <laughs> yes. I got a spot right here, yeah. and I cannot Pleasure get rid of it to save my life. Work. So is I it. just hit some dry powder in my hand. We can put a little, a little bit of water, water, make a paste, That's and just... It. Yeah, and if you want to be fancy You're pranking that, me. I'm not pranking you. Oh, we're going to try this, and we're going to be orange. Do it. <laughs> She's gonna see all the people who tried it but at home. Literally, so I have bad dark spots. You probably see it in my hand. Like, so after I had my baby, my first baby, they didn't know what happened. My skin all over bricked out. Like, I had bumps everywhere. Wow. And it's still there, and it's still scarred because there was so many of them. Like, this, like, for my neck right now, like, I use it and I try to do my bath. Like, it's gone. And then if I do, the, I do this once a week for my face, it is heaven. Like, my face, like, I literally, I don't sound like I'm bragging, but I don't break out. If I, I get like a couple stress pin, pimple and I told my husband like by tomorrow, I'll have it almost going away. Wow. And it's this, this is endless. This is We're going to have a whole episode with us in orange masks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is it. And okay. these are my part. And then I'm a big coconut oil. So like you talk about oil, I was like, I'm going to do that because I love oil. So. Yeah. That's me. Simple, basic, and natural. Oh, natural. I love it. Yeah. Keep it. Keep it. Keep We're going to so do that too. I'm yeah. half crunchy, but your girl, you're 100%. Yeah, crunchy. you pulling out like <laughs> cinnamon sugar and... <laughs> Mustard powder. <laughs> I don't need this. Yeah, I just get rid of my crab stuff. I'm just gonna hit my spice cabinet. Yeah. <laughs> just go in there. Yeah. No, oh, danger. Awesome. Yeah. Wow. And that was fun though. Yeah, I that was, yeah, that was, that was so fun. fun. We should do this occasionally with different things, like yeah. just bring. Yeah. And you our guys favorites. should share with us what your favorite things are. You know, go on our face on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then let us know what you use that maybe you mm -hmm. would like to use too. So. Yeah. Same yeah. with uh, you know the uh, the you know the YouTube comments below. So. Well, thank you very much for joining, you know, our brave uh, conversation today about our, you know, products that we like to use. Some things a little bit more risque than others, Robin. We're going to have to be brave on putting turmeric on our face. <laughs> yes. yeah. Yeah. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell notification so you don't miss our next episode. Are you guys ready for more? Click on the next video for more brave conversations. Have some brave topics that you'd like us to discuss? Leave your suggestions below. We'd love to hear from you. See you, See you next week. week. Hey, brave girl, how you do the things that you do?